Hello everybody, I am DeGroot and welcome back. Well, actually, it's not welcome back. Welcome to a brand new series where I'm just basically uh, I'm going to be doing side missions and post-game. So this is a series all its own, pretty much. I uh, started where I left off in the game's story mode. Uh, I definitely would recommend you go back and watch the playlist if you're uh, new to the channel. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Laventon here. And also you'll notice I don't have a face cam. I decided to just go ahead and circumvent that and this will be something where I can just pop record if I'm going to go do something interesting and share it with you here on the channel. Here we go. The group, my boy. What say you take the Pokemon here in the lab with the... Oh, I knew it. I knew I was going to get them. Take them with you on your excursions. I would love to. Splendid. I'm sure the chance to help with your survey work would be a delight to any Pokemon, especially one stuck indoors so long like mine. Yeah. I knew I was going to get them. I was like, how else am I going to fill my uh, Pokedex entries if he doesn't give them to me? But we got them. Yay. <laughs> Number caught. One. Yeah, let's look at those entries, shall we? Uh-huh. Never cut. Okay, so in order to catch five, they have to exist in somewhere. Uh, okay, okay. I see what you're putting down. Needless to say, we're going to put those guys in the party. Use Aqua Jet, Water Pulse, Slash. Alright, so we got some work to do. We got to get those to level 10 and evolve them. Um, so that's going to be a bit of a long road. And then some other things we got to do. We still got to get a Star Raptor, which that means I need to go evolve my Darby. <laughs> Darby Allen. Uh, lots of stuff I need to finish there. So basically that's what this part of the series is going to be. I'm just going to go out and find stuff. If I find a shiny... If I see, you know, outbreaks and have a chance at a shiny, I'm going to go for it. And while I'm going, I'm just going to systematically go through each one of these, as you can see, and try and uh, get them to level 10 and catch them all. Still got to get uh, Wire Deer. I'll have to look up how to get one of those. And once I get all those, I'll get my shiny charm, and so we'll go shiny hunting. I mean, ultimately, I hope to one day stream stuff, and maybe we could... In the future, stream some videos of me trying to catch these guys. I assume I'm going to get an encounter. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I obviously have a, a mission prompt outside of here. But in the meantime, I can, uh, I can tool about if I want to, which is nice. All right. Well, you know what? We're doing mission stuff. Let's go do mission stuff while we have them. Gotta go say hi to Volo. Hello, everybody. Uh, oh, you know what? Before I go, I should just go ahead and put the new guys in my party. Any chance I get to use them, I should do so. Hey, what's up, Nose Pass and Nose Pass and other guys? Unknown. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's put everybody in their spot. 223. All right, that's 224. So 36 would be, let's see, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Right there. And then where is Dialga hiding at? There you are. 235. So you go there. Looks like we got some spots to fill. And off screen, I just talked to a random guy. I got a mission for Darkrai. I'm almost 100% positive. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of spots I need to get filled here. For example, I need to get a zero. A z this is Zora Rark. I need a Zorua. I was, I was just blanking on the name. Somehow I need to get the unevolved form, the shield on. 
Uh, we need to get the big boy. A bomb of snow. We got that line done. Found where the Clefairies are, and I marked it on my map. And if it hadn't switched from day or night to day, I would have had all three of them in one go. I, I could have got Cleffa, and there was a Alpha Clefable. That would have been an awesome just sweep and just get them all at once. All right, so we got we got a lot of work to do. Got to get Electrovire. Wait, didn't I get Electrovire? There you are, you big bastard. You big beautiful bastard. <clears throat> All right, put these over here. These are the expendables. <laughs> and moving forward, I may uh, expound on my list here. Uh, for example, there are like variants I could, like of uh, Burmy, I could add. So I may move people down the line. Fiddle fart off camera in my free time just try and uh i don't know make the coolest little pokedex sort of thing as i can all right so let's take you and then uh gardevoir yeah like gardevoir for example could sit right in here you know or uh, right here in between these two if i'm not using her but i have a tendency to so Let's just, we'll just throw her at the end of this page, and we'll figure it out later. All right. Now I gotta find my new guys. Where you at? And none of you are on here. I could take one of these and evolve it. Hmm. Twig. Gligar. What's Gligar doing there? All right. <laughs> Put you on the uh, holding page. Still got to get my Alpha Beniri to like me. Uh, yeah. So the important guys I'll just keep over here. Alright, let's see. Nobody's there. Uh, I need to evolve one of you. Need to get Magmortar, and that's probably Magby. Don't know where Magby is. Have to figure that one out. There's Oshawott. Found you, buddy. Get in there. Kane, I'll move you over here. And then we're looking for. Uh, am I missing it? And is it that obvious? So wait, it would have been this page. Oh, there you are, Rowlet. All right, there we go. Uh, actually, keep Thunder Rosa because of Thunder Wave. And we'll put Mysterio back. And put it right there. A lot of work to do yet. Yeah, lots of work to do. Cool. Alright, let's go check out this little uh, mission. I assume it's just go talk to Volo. Meet Volo at the Heights Camp. Yep. And then we'll be on our way to doing some post-game stuff. I think said the uh, Heights Camp, right? So let's go to the Heights Camp. There he is. Oh. DeGroot, there you are. Have a look here, if you will. A good, long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters. Really? Rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. 
a tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of all of an all encompassing wow deity. A deity? Yes, an all encompassing deity. The creator of the very universe. And its name is Arceus. <gasps> you mean the dude who gave me the phone? Perhaps you've already heard this name? Yeah, it sounds, <laughs> it sounds familiar. Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisui region? But now, let's, let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed that they all have words carved on their backs? Go on, give them a read. I did. The original one, breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what, uh, so what do you say to Groot? I think we should try to gather all the plates. What, I don't have all the plates? And I've got just the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. Okay. It's almost, his foot is twitching out like crazy. Grueling Grove, that's here, yeah? Ooh, alright. Um, I'm just going to have to run there, I guess. I hope silver away. Tell you what, I'll see you there. Okay, so we have arrived. Hello again, Volo. Ooh. I've been here a few times. I've always wondered why it was like this. Now, to Groot, according to my own investigations. Huh? Oh! Well, an Alpha Vespaquin, terribly sorry to Groot, but do you think you could handle it? Um, depends on who I have out front. Ah, uh, Thunder Rosa, this will work. All right, first Saints first. Shocking. All right. Well, mm, yeah, let's just do a straight up Thunderfang. All right. I'm going for it. I know its health is still substantial, but I have confidence. There we go. Nice. Add that alpha to the team. Oh boy. <laughs> they can evolve already. Alright, there we go. Wah! I obtained a stone plate. Okay. Huh. That's fun. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate laying around? In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about, so that's that. And yet, nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect. It makes me suspect there must be still more plates left out there for us to find. <clears throat> Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about the plates. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. The one and only Mrs. Co Mistress Kojita, yep. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for, help, for her help in obtaining the red chain, am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So onward to the ancient retreat. Okay. What's with the music? Oh, right. I forgot there's alpha hair across that spawn here. I already got that one, so I don't need it. Uh, anything going on? Nothing going on, so let's skidoodle. 
Uh, I actually didn't take any damage. And then I will see you at the lady's place. Alright, well, I got sidetracked enough. Uh, time to move forward. I tried catching a shiny Gyarados. That didn't happen. Tried catching a shiny Kirkitad. That didn't happen. Tried catching shiny Scyther. That didn't happen. I just... I don't have the patience to do that hundreds of times. Plus, it's getting late in the day, and I don't really want to try that hard. <laughs> I'm more focused on filling the Pokedex right now, and one of the things I'll have to do is get these legendaries, so... Let's talk to Gogeta. I mean, Kogeta. <laughs> Freudian slip. Oh, lost one, it's miraculous that what you've done. It seems the red chain served its purpose well. And you carried out your duty as you were bid. But what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? Uh, it's about the plates. Ah, yes, a tale whose origins lie a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people, from whom I am descended across many generations. Blarg. Whoa! Uh, whoa. Power just went out. Well, <laughs> hang on, I'll be right back. Or, no, I think we're, I think we're good. That was wicked. So, uh, the little, little backstory here. Uh, it's really windy outside. It's raining. It's getting cold. And we're slated, uh, slated to receive, uh, Nasty ice and uh, snow. <laughs> so that was kind of freaky. You couldn't see it. I don't have a face cam, but it got really scary down here because I'm in the basement. My light went out for like a solid second and a half before it came back on. It scared me for a second. Anyways, uh, these forebears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisui region. There's a one upside to doing this on a laptop. And I have heard of certain fragments, plates as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon, such as Cleavor and Wiredeer. Wiredeer, Wiredeer. Is that all? I thought that surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I've nothing new to tell you. Why the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the Creator. Arceus had anything concrete been passed down. Aw oh, man. If only we had more to go on, the answer to these mysteries may even shed light on why De Groot here fell from the sky. Aha, I see what you intend. Very well. I'll help as best I can. There are still other tremendous Pokemon in Hisui, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain. But in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are the Pokemon of the Lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The Crescent Moon, the Volcano. And perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of? Ah, oh, boy. The beginning? Isn't that Arceus himself? I guess the three Lake Pokemon. Ah, yes, them. You already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you become. Oh, my lights are flickering again. My power just freaked out. <laughs> yeah, I'm on back. <laughs> it's getting freaky. I think I'm on the verge of losing power, so I'm gonna hold here and I will. Uh, well, I guess we could just talk to her about these. Fire Spit Island. Oh, okay, so she's going to give me all those. The Crescent Moon. Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Well, make for the corner Highlands for now. Highlands? Highlands. Okay. Might as well get all of them. The secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. Alright, thank you. And then finally. Indeed, a beginning for you, certainly. Where was it you first fell to Earth here? 
The Plate of Prelude Beach? Uh, I guess that's all of them. Done with your questions, are you? Yes. Very well, Lost One. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokémon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed, for your own sake and for that of the Pokédex you labor on. Thank you. I knew we could rely on you, Mistress Kojita. That's more than enough information to work with. Now let us find those plates. Alright, so that's going to be fun. Maybe do a special episode where we catch all of the legendaries in the area. It's just as I had suspected. Pokemon are the key to our search to Groot. If we could gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the backs of the plates at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for that Pokemon that Kojita mentioned to Groot. I have my own avenues of research that I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all history. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. It looks like a really mystical, weird old deer, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Alright. Well. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Now the question is what do I want to do next? Right now, I kind of want to tinker with some stuff. And Oh. Hello. I've had a message from Mistress Kojita. I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort with the merchant Volo. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. Oh. That's ominous and interesting. Off I go. Actually, let me stop off here at my uh, poker bank. I need to move some stuff around, so uh, I'm going to clear my inventory, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, got my situation at the pasture cleared up. Now we're going to head over here to the beach. I'm curious what could possibly be at the beach. Manaphy? I think that's the thing in this one, right? I, mean, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. I'm definitely curious. You have my curiosity. Prelude Beach, indeed a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. No. Alright. I gotta, I gotta set my team before I take on uh, Boss Komodo or Commander Googadoog. Alright. Let's put you where you belong, sir. Alright. There. Oh, that feels good. That feels great. At some point I need to get Luxio in here. I thought I caught one. I might be... I must be mistaken. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Get you in the party. Get you in the party. And then you in the party. I think I'll start with Thunder Rosa. Alright, back to the beach. I don't know why he's so adamant on fighting me right now. I don't know how it affects the story, but alas, here we are. Here we are. Time to battle. Let us battle to the death for command of the sacred... Oh. I'm running out of oxygen. What the? What are you doing here, child? Um. Well, you see, when a mommy Pokemon and a daddy Pokemon love each other very much, <laughs> and they hug really hard, and now it pops a Pokemon. All right, now I'm ready. Yes. Hoi. I don't know who's first. I'm gonna assume it's Seamus. Because I think that's who I had out first. Okay, let's battle. Golem. Oh, Thunder Rosa, even worse. Ah, boy. Well. 
Um, hey, Golem. I'm gonna use this. Could you not knock me out one hit? Oh, for God's sake. Well, uh, you're not going to get to see this battle, so <laughs> it's officially power out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, you count me mid-battle. You can probably hear the music from my headphones that are certain on my mic. So let's try and finish this battle and then I'll call it a night, shall we? Um, well, you're kind of in there now, buddy. Uh, I'm just going to use rollout a few times. You know, and have it not do anything. I'm going to get owned. I have only a little bit of health left. This is not going to end well for me. Hey, I got the burn though. That's nice. Man, talk about overkill. Jeez, Norlax. Calm down. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Alright, close combat. Here I come. Let's just do a normal one. That should be enough. Boom. See you, Snorlax. Ugh. Yeah, what you missed was my uh, first two Pokemon getting wrecked by a golem. Oh, of course. Of course, you get to go first, and I can't utilize my poison typing. Alright, if I do this... Fa nice. Gotta double down on it, you know? Gotta put Fable out. There we go. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh. oh, Braviary. Thankfully, your psychic typing won't do much against me. Nor will your... That did a lot more damage. Oh, and you get to go twice because I used strong. Um... Well, that's gonna be neutral because you're stupid typing oh, I get to go twice anyway so I might as well just use normal yep yeah, let's go strong do as much damage as we, as we can before we get knocked out ow yeah it's like I only have one left Alright, so Psychic Bird, I can't do much against. So we're going to just go ahead and utilize an item. Um, <laughs> Alright, we'll do that. Should survive this, so I should be able to get one shot off. So let's go ahead and use Moonblast. Go for stab. Oh, which turned out was all I needed. So I guess I did all that for nothing. But you know what? At least my boy got some training. <laughs> oh, wait. I called boy. Sorry. I forgot which one. Did I, I thought I did Mysterio. It was the other one. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. All right. Let's see what this is about. And then we'll call it a night. You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear you do not view Pukumu. Pu we have Pukumuku somewhere around here. Uh, Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. With whom you can reach great heights. 
Perhaps you are divine being yourself sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. What is it? You have a fist plate? Really? You've been holding out? Man. When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and others, set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly had some kind of power, and so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on this same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adam and Irita, it appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. Hmm. Um, it might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. Oh, there it is, everybody. I know I've no right to say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Actually, made that inflection work. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokemon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Yeah, I was going to do that anyway, but thank you. Yay, the plate of Prelude Beach. Complete to... Based on could you hint there might be four more plates left for you to find. Oh, oof, thud. Alright, well anyway, I had fun with this little side quest episode. Quit thumping up there. Crying out loud, people. I'm working down here! So anyway, uh, that's where I'm going to cut this little side questing uh, after the show sort of show <laughs> for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, and hit that bell for notifications. You know the spiel. And when you do the things, you too can be an electronic idiot. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.